Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another book review. If you guys uh, remember, uh, if you're new here, you won't. <laughs> if you guys recall, I posted a little while back about the Ladies of Horror Fiction. They're on uh, Instagram and Twitter. And they have their own website. You definitely need to check them out. I'll leave a link to them down there in the doobly-doo. You can go check them out for yourself. Follow them everywhere. But the reason I bring them up is because I never would have found this book without them. I have not seen it talked about anywhere else other than them. And that's one of the big problems with, uh, not a problem with, a fe with female horror writers, but it's a problem with uh, the community is we, I just don't see, there's so many, it seems like there's a constant stream of male authors in my Twitter feed, Instagram feed, um, and then every now and again you see a female horror novel, uh, well, a novel by a uh, female author. This is Hag by Kathleen Kaufman. And it is one of the, it is probably, I'm going to go ahead and double down, it is the best witch novel I have ever read as of right now. Um, Hex by a guy whose name I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Um, it's probably really easy to pronounce, but I, I can't remember the name. And I know it's Swedish or Norwegian or whatever. Rage at me about getting that wrong down there in the comments. But uh, this one is uh, fantastic. <laughs> I really don't have anything bad to say about it. Uh, there is one warning that I want to give you guys, uh, and I hate that I even have to warn you, but I got a lot of people, um, not the majority, but there was a certain subset of people who did not like uh, Jack Jem's The Grip of It because they felt that there were no answers. Um, I am not trying to say anything untoward to them, but just because you didn't understand the book doesn't mean that there's no answers. Um, it didn't have much of a plot, and I think that's where some people get uh, get confused with uh, answers and plot and all that stuff. There are certain uh, genres of literature that the only purpose is to invoke or evoke an emotion. Um, whether that be dread, whether that be uh, irony, well, any number of things. And usually that stuff is considered literary fiction, and then you have genre fiction. In genre fiction, you will find a plot. Usually you will find a very strict adherence to a plot line, storyline, whatever. Um, this is one of those, or you also have a very clear antagonist and protagonist and a very clear conflict. In books like Hag and The Grip of It, you do not have that clear uh, positive, that clear negative. There is no, as far as I'm concerned, there is no villain in this book. It is a story that re revolves around a lifetime, um, I won't say how long, but uh, and a group of women with a uh, matriarch at the top kind of deal. Uh, and like I said, I don't want to give too much away. It does jump back and forth between farther past and past, and then you are following this uh, woman's timeline in another one. You're following a different woman's timeline in the other one. Uh, it can be a little uh, maybe confusing for some, but it is one of those stories that if you are going into it for an explosive climactic ending, you will definitely, definitely be upset. I am giving this five stars because it was, for me, a perfect experience. It was very hard to put down. It was very easy, very creepy. And if you do not mind reading something just for the emotion of it, if you like literary fiction, I highly, highly recommend it. If you don't, then don't read it. Um, but it is my opinion that not everything needs to have a plot and not everything needs to have a set, strict adherence to a plot line or storyline. And this is one of those books, man, that just is a perfect experience for me. So have you read Hag by Kathleen Kaufman? Let me know down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another book review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!